Hi there, Simon from simonwoods.com. Uh, I apologise if halfway through this I've got a horrible earworm going through. Do you know what it is? Ra Ra Rasputin, lover of the Russian Queen. Why did you need to know that at the start of a video about two New Zealand Sauvignon Blancs? Uh, I will not. I try not to burst into song halfway through. Yeah, I've got two, uh, 2016, they're both 2016. Yeah, 2016 and 2016. Uh, New Zealand Sauvignon Blancs, both from the South Island, one from Nelson. Uh, which is on the top end of the South Island, and one from uh, Marlborough, which is, uh, well, you know where Marlborough is, it's just around the corner, a bit further down, a bit further south, but it's actually a bit warmer, I think, than Nelson. Nelson, being on the top, gets a little bit more of those um, those really chilly uh, sea breezes blowing off the, the, the rather, uh, coming up from the Antarctic, and, and cool. I always think of it as being a little bit cooler. Uh, how has it manifested itself before I open the bottles? Well, the Nelson one's half a degree lower in alcohol. 13 versus 13 and a half degrees, so not all that much in it. Anyway, first wine, Aotea, uh, Aotea, I don't know what it is, uh, Sauvignon Blanc 2016 uh, from the Seyfried Winery, and um, let's give it a whirl. God, it's one of those that has bounded out of the glass. Um, it's, uh, it's got lots of rhubarb, apple, citrus, a little bit of herb in there. I almost don't need to swirl the glass. I'm going to give it another swirl, but... Uh, uh, but yeah, it just seems to be really pungent and green smells. Um, a little too green, maybe that's one of the problems I get sometimes with uh, uh, with Nelson Sauvignon Blanc compared with compared with Marlborough. The Marlborough ones seem to have a little bit more flesh on their bones, but better taste it. And there is some richness there, but there's also that slightly um, tart rub in a, tart in the way that um, that rhubarb crumble is tart. And some people will taste that and go, oh, I find that a, bit, a little bit sharp. Other people who like rhubarb crumble. I like rhubarb. My wife doesn't really. Uh, we're going, actually, that's not bad at all. Um, yes, it's, it, it, it's, it, it's funny because that fat, there's like a fat passion fruity edge. And um, this, um, this keener rhubarb edge. Mmm, tasty. Okay, I, I like that. Not heaps, but I like it. Ra Ra Rasputin. Anyway, next one down. Villa Maria, uh, Reserve Sauvignon Blanc from the Wairau Valley, uh, 2016 vintage. Let's give this a whirl. Now this doesn't smell as exuberant. This smells more stony and uh, crisp. Uh, if the first one smelt, yes, it had that um, tropical edge and that, uh, uh, that uh, keener edge. Here it, it feels like it's a bit more harmonious and it also feels like it's more backward. We're in March, end of March 20, 2017 here, so it's a year old, so it feels like the Ayotea ready now. This one feels like one of those that's a little bit shy at the moment. I'll give it a swirl and then taste it. Yeah, and that's, it, it's funny because there's, um, uh, in terms of exuberant fruit, uh, the Ayotea, that's, that's the one that, that's got that here though. Uh, there is some richness there, and it feels like uh, the flavours aren't quite as, here's the sharp bit, here's the fleshy bit. They're a bit more towards the middle. And uh, probably slightly more, uh, despite what I was thinking when I smelt it, more on that riper edge. So there's pear, uh, not so much of the um, of, of that tartar rhubarb edge. Maybe a little bit of citrus in there, but pear and a little bit of the passion fruit in there. It feels like it's a, um, a richer but um, yeah more restrained wine. Uh, sometimes the two don't go side by side. Uh, so maybe I drink the Ayotea. Uh, now and uh, and the Villa Maria in six months or so. They're both they're both good. Yeah, um, I'm very happy to have a glass of both of them. But um, yeah, as I say, air turn now, and I'll wait for uh, the last throes of summer to set into the Villa Maria. See you soon.